Ooh. Ooh, this is a big one. Or a bigger one. Never mind. It's just this guy again. Well, if this is the only thing I'm gonna catch tonight, I might as well catch a whole bunch of them. When we lack in variety, we're just gonna make it up in quantity. Here comes the staghorn lightning round. Let's see how many we can catch tonight. Another one. And another one. I'm just gonna throw this one back and I'm gonna get another one right away. Told ya. What's up anglers and anglets, it's your boy Sven and welcome back to my channel. So for today we're doing some evening fishing over here at Pismo Beach Pier in Pismo Beach. Now a lot of night videos that I try to film always come out poorly because I don't have a headlamp. Well I got this headlamp for today. It's a little bit breezy, uh, kind of chilly actually, but hopefully it doesn't get too cold to the point where I can't fish anymore. It rarely happens, but if it does, you know. But enough chit chat, let's get started and see what we can catch today. Okay, cool, the light turned on. That's actually pretty bright. Set up with some shrimp on the top, shrimp on the bottom, and I'm using a pyramid and a disc weight, both three ounces, because the waves look like they're pretty rough right now. Hopefully this will prevent it from moving too much. I've never fished at Pismo Beach Pier, so I'm not entirely sure how deep the water is right here, but I'm trying the surf area first. Getting some nibbles. That was quick. I just dropped it down the bottom bait already got super munched. Yep, nibbles. I think we got one. Maybe. Oh, he flew off. I think that was a walleye surf perch. There might not be any big perches right now because all I'm getting is a lot of nibbles. So I'm going to use a very small piece of shrimp. The size six hook is already super small. I don't think I want to use any hook smaller than a size six right now. Water's not very deep. I reached the bottom like right away. There's definitely a lot of activity. No more bites at the spot. Let's move farther out. I can't tell what these nibbles are. It's like really quick, short bursts. Maybe something super, super tiny. It's so weird. I think I'm just gonna reel up. Wait, I got something. Is this like a little tiny sculpin? Might be a bullhead, like a small one. That explains a lot. I was like, something's definitely whacking my line. Man, you're super tiny. Now if only I can figure out what you are. Well, thanks for playing, Mr. Tiny Fish. Back you go. That was definitely an interesting first catch. Might just be a tiny bullhead sculpin. I'm not very good with all my sculpins. Just cast it back out. Got more of those super tiny short burst nibbles. Ooh, that nibble was a little bit bigger. It's actually really nice out here at night. Just a little nippy. The fresh air is really pleasant though. Nice and crispy. All right, there's no more bites at this spot. I'm just gonna move around until I get another fish. So I'll see you guys soon. It's the same thing everywhere I'm casting. Just a whole bunch of tiny nibbles. Let me check it. Oh, okay, I guess we did get something. Another tiny one of these boys. Really neat looking though. I would guess a bullhead sculpin. All right, thanks for playing Mr. Tiny Fish again. Ooh. Yep, <laughs> another one of these guys. There's definitely a lot of them. I guess the other name for the bullhead sculpin is also the Pacific Staghorn sculpin. But let's let you on back again. Goodbye. A lot of them are just right next to the pier. I'm just dropping it down, maybe like five feet in front of me. If I catch another one, I'm just gonna cast it out because I don't wanna catch these tiny guys the entire night. Oh, instant nibbles. I'm just gonna say that these are juvenile Pacific Staghorn Sculpins. Thanks for playing. You know what? Let's just catch one more of those guys. It's kind of fun. I just think they're super neat. Okay. 
Okay, here we go again. One more staghorn sculpin for the road. Ooh, that's a big nibble. Shrimp head for dinky sculpins. Man, I can't escape from these guys. I casted this one pretty far out too. Why are there so many of you? Back you go, dinky boy. What's that now, my sixth staghorn? I bet you it's another one of them. Yep, no matter where I cast, close, far, they're just all over the place. At this point, it's like, how many staghorn sculptins can I catch? I think they're called staghorns because of this thingy right here. Pretty cool. All right, thanks for playing, same dinky boy. Oh, this is a big one, or a bigger one. Never mind, it's just this guy again. Well, if this is the only thing I'm gonna catch tonight, I might as well catch a whole bunch of them. When we lack in variety, we're just gonna make it up in quantity. Thanks for playing, dinky boy. Here comes the staghorn lightning round. Let's see how many we can catch tonight. Another one. And another one. Here, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to catch one. This is literally the same tiny piece of bait that I just caught the last one on. I'm just gonna throw this one back and I'm gonna get another one right away. Told ya. They don't care if the bait's new or used, they just go for it. Back you go. The same piece of bait again on the bottom hook, right on schedule. Thanks for playing, little guy. Let's try to catch one more with this super tiny piece of bait. He still went for it. The bait's all spent now, though. Be free, little one. So the funny thing is, even though they're really small, some of them actually have a lot of fight in them. Every time I get a bite, I just hope it's something else. Bite slowed down at this spot. I'm gonna move a little bit farther out, I guess, to catch more staghorns. This one might be a bigger one. Who am I fooling? They're all super tiny, like always. Woo! And another one. If you want to catch a whole bunch of staghorns, come to Pismo Beach Pier at night, apparently. I wonder where all the big ones are. Like the biggest one I've caught was over at Newport Pier. It was like seven to eight inches. Wait, that's something different. Nice. This isn't a staghorn. What are you? Looks really cool. I think this is a baby white croaker. Nice. I think white croakers are pretty neat. Except when you catch them in SoCal area, you gotta be careful because they're usually like the number one fish that they say do not eat because of contamination and pollution and all that stuff. Thanks for playing, Mr. White Croaker. If you catch a white croaker in central or NorCal waters, they're usually fine to eat. It's just down in SoCal is where people are like, don't eat it. They basically eat garbage and they eat a lot of it. I think I read somewhere that their favorite place to hang out is at the end of like sewage drains. So it gives you an idea of what they're eating. I'm just glad we caught something else besides a staghorn for a change. And we're back to staghorns. I'm also pretty sure I'm gonna have interesting things to say, so. Hey, this one bit the top hook. A lot of them have been buying the bottom hook. I'm assuming it's because these guys are all at the bottom in the sand, just looking for things to eat. Wait, this isn't a staghorn. This is a little baby sand dab. Look how tiny and precious he is. All right, I'm gonna let you back now. Thank you for being something else besides a staghorn, Mr. Sand Dab. Thanks for playing.
And just like that, we're back on staghorns. All right, well, here's something new. I guess I have caught a tiny crab that will not let go of my shrimpy boy. Sir? Yeah, he just won't let go. What kind of crab are you? Oh well, back you go. I think that's a good one to end the day with. It's getting pretty late anyways, I'm getting really tired. Overall, it was a pretty solid day of fishing. I caught way more than I thought I was gonna catch today, even if they were super dinky. It was definitely nice to come out here and get some fresh air though. It's been a really busy week. Last bunch of shrimpy bait. Have some freebies, you darn staghorns. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm usually hesitant to try to film at night because it never comes out very nice at all. Hopefully this video comes out decent enough to watch and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. By the way, if somebody knows why there's so many Pacific staghorns over here at Pismo Beach, do let me know because that was a ridiculous amount to catch.